Hello, my dear YouTube friends. Welcome to Crushy Within. Because um, this is it's very cold outside now, and uh, I make some wrist warmers. I need a second one, so I make a decision to show you uh, how this one works. They are very easy to make and um, really great for beginners. I show every part step by step. I crush them in two parts and I uh, use some special techniques. Um, I just crush this part here in Bosnian crushes and this only in, in single crushes and in back point uh, single crushes as well. I show it all slowly, slowly so that you can follow me for sure. Really easy. And um, what I have to tell you is what I've used. I've used a colored um, mixed yarn in uh, pink, in uh, purple and green and in yellow. And I make it um, for that one that it goes well with it here for my two in one head. And I used a uh, hook number eight, some green yarn seven to eight, and some turkey blue yarn nine uh, ten to twelve as well. So, but now we can start. Um, we are starting with the colored mixed yarn. I hope I get the right beginning yes it is and we are starting with 11 loops in the beginning one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven don't make the chain strong just um crushing them very um, big so that you can do it well. I come uh, closer with the camera now and show you how Bosnian crush is working. It's just easy, it's only crushing slip stitch. So we're just going with the needle in the second chain from our, needle, from our hook and then we go here in, take the yarn and now just take this loop and cross you one slip stitch. So just take the loop and go through the other one. So don't um, cross you strong, just very, very easy and um, that you get, can always uh, go through the change well. So now just do the next one. Just take the yarn that you have one loop and go with the, this loop through the loop you have on your hook. And this is what we have to do the whole row now. Only one slip stitch after another. So after you have um, crochet the last loop, just change and make one loop in the beginning. And our second row is now that we are going in the back part of our chain here. I hope you can see it. Here's the front and we use the back. Just take the yarn and crochet Bosnian crushes as well, just make one slip stitch. So this is what we have to do the whole road. Go only with the hook in the back of a chain. So I think now that in the end, don't forget to crochet the last chain. Just don't forget to go just here in. And now 
go on the other side, turn and do the same as we have done on the last row. Just take the back of the chain and crochet one slip stitch. From that we are needing two lines more. So if you have done it, uh, two rows more, sorry, and if you have done it and I have done it, we will met us again. I have crochet now the last two lines. You see it here, one, two, and I need two more. So uh, I like to do it with you together till I show you um, how you can make the color lines here above. So it's very important that you crochet very loose. You see it. Go in the back and crochet very loose. And five, six, seven, eight. nine and now I crochet the tenth. Don't forget to crochet the last one. Uh, sometimes it's good to count the change every line. So I need another one before I start to change the color. So here I have crochet just uh, too strong. So you can see that it really only works well if you crochet very loose. Here's my back, and there I have to go. And the eight, the nine, and now the last one, our tenth one. So now we are starting to crossing the lines. Uh, we are starting with the green one here. Just turn around. Take the green yarn Make one loop Just fasten it here And now crochet Sorry Now um, crochet slip stitch and we're going through uh, all chains so that we're going in front and take now the two parts here and we're crossing one slip stitch as well so it's important that you go that you take to the two chains here Just crochet loose as well, and we do it the whole line. So here's our last one. And what we're doing now, just make a wide loop so that it don't get opened and we're going back to the other side where we'll start the road. Take the yarn, go here in the back and go here in the back. You see this is our first chain we've made just behind there. And there go through the chain uh, to the chain we have made in the road before with the colored yarn. 
you see go to all change and now crochet one loop and another loop and now crochet there one slip stitch as well the whole row you see I show it here's our green line and here's our line road we have made the road before and now we're going to this two change here you can see and we're crushing one slip stitch uh, it's my part now because I haven't crushed you as loose as I should uh, but it works made takes a little time so this is what we are doing to the end till the end of the road this doesn't work here so I have to do it again until you finish the last chain just one moment so till you finish the last chain just take the loop you have the last loop with a green yarn yarn it over the hook make it strong again and now crochet the last row uh, the last chain take the yarn and go through all three here so this is close now you see now we've crochet this line what we are doing at next is we turn around and we are crushing uh, in Bosnian crochets as well that means we are going again in the back of a chain and crochet loose slip stitch oh, this was not clear this how the color changing is working but for sure I promised that I uh, show all slowly uh, we will make the three lines together so here's my last one so now uh, you see it works very well so um, now we're taking the turquoise blue yarn and uh, doing the same as we have uh, done with a uh, uh, green one that means just make one chain make sure that this one, this one is long enough that you can stitch it up later and um, this just that away and now uh, we are crushing slip stitch as we go in the front of a chain take all two here this is very important for the next road and crochet it loose slip stitch the whole road again You see now it works better because I crochet loose. So just uh, make sure that the loop is wide opened and now go back on the other side, strong the yarn, go here in the back and search for the first loop, chain, make one loop and now crochet through these two loops again just go in the front of the road before you have crochet 
are the turkey blue road and there crochet one slip stitch again loose slip stitch <laughs> okay and this is the most complicated part for we have made uh, and after that it's going on very 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 easy so you can really follow for sure so now take the white chain in turkey make it strong cross you the last loop and go through all three so so now you have seen uh, you can see we have the line in turkey and what we're doing next is like we have done it before just make one loop and crochet in Bosnian crochets back. Just go in the back of a chain and crochet loose one slip stitch. So now we have to take the green yarn again. So I forgot to cut the yarn with the scissors. I do it now. We're doing the same as we've done it before. Just make one loop and now go make it fast here as well. Okay, I have done it now. And now we go in the front and we are crushing slip stitch the whole road. It's really important that you really crochet with two chains and crochet loose. So now just make sure that you get the chain wide opened and go back on the other side, take the yarn, make it strong. Go behind there. Search for the first chain. Make one loop and now crochet through the two chains here slip stitch as well the whole road and some more yarn doesn't work so I have to do it again there is one yarn okay now it works So before you uh, crochet the last, just take the green loop, make it strong. Now crochet the last chain, 
and go through all three here. So that's all for now. And uh, now we are going on in uh, just the way we have done it before. Just one loop and just Bosnia crochet in the back. Uh, the next 16 till 70 lines. It has to get uh, just one time around your arm in a good way. That's enough. I have crochet nearly 7 centimeters, 17 centimeters. And if you have done it, and I have done it, uh, we will meet us again. I have crochet now nearly 9 uh, centimeters, um, and uh, in the end I have here 18 till 19 centimeters. Um, just make sure that is, uh, is it is the right size for you. I have very small hands and small arms. I just like to show you how you can see it. Just put them here together and you have to go with a hand through this part. And if you can do it and it's just get the right size here, you have the right size for you. Hands. Okay, but now um, we are going on. Uh, for that, just uh, lay the parts together. This has to be inside. Okay, take the hook again. And now we are going in the back of the first chain, like we have done it the whole time, and we're going through the other side in our first chain. Now we're taking the yarn and go through the chains. Make one loop and we just do the same again. We just go in the back of the second chain, take the second chain on the other side and go with the yarn through the two loops and we are crushing one slip stitch and after we made the one slip stitch we are crushing one loop. And the next one is also like the other ones, just go in the back of your chain, go on the other side, take the yarn through and cl uh, crush you one slip stitch, one loop and so on. This is what you have to do till you've finished it and then we'll meet us again. After we had put that together, just turn it on the other side again. I'll just take the yarn one time through it here. Oh. And one loop is gone, so I have to do it again. So, um, for this, um, now uh, we are crushing single crochets in the whole row, and it's your decision how many you need for your size. I have very small hands, you see it. I go here through it, and for me, it's enough um, 19 uh, to 20. May um, you want to have more or less? It's just your decision. I just show you uh, here, and it's really right for me and I've uh, got a little air here on the side, sorry, air here so that if your uh, hand is a little bit bigger you can for sure use 19 as well. But um, no matter if you take another ch uh, chain, number of chain, uh, the rest is the same as well. So just uh, go on um, that you get the right size. Uh, we're crushing single crochets in every chain now. Uh, one, I go here over, two, three, four, and now because I don't want to stitch up all the yarns, uh, I just take the yarns here with me. Uh, I have now uh, six, seven, I know. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Uh, 
thirty, forty. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and for me it's now the last one, nineteen. So I close now with a slip stitch on the first chain I've made in the beginning. And the next row is very easy as well. We are crossing in single crochets. But um, to make uh, this pattern, I hope you see it, we just go in the back of a chain as well. So here go in the back of a chain and crochet one single crochet. So this is what we have to do the whole road and if we have done it, we'll see us again. So, if you have done it, I've closed the last row with slit stitch. Uh, we have to make the thumb here, and for this, is uh, right and left is different. For the left one, just uh, of course, I finished. I have to take uh, the lines here. So I have to take the first free change. Just make sure that this is above and in the middle, and then. You can take some yarn and fix it where you have to start or here I go from the other side and then you have to double the next three single crochets from here till here. But now we are on the right side uh, to find here the right place for the pump is uh, the same way as well. Just put it on and now you can see here we need from this space on here we have to double, so just take a little yarn and just make a sign. So now we have to double after this sign free single, a uh, free change um, in the next road. So we are starting. We are crushing like we have done uh, have done it the road before. Just single crochets in the back of a chain. So now we just near the sign. Now we're doubling. We just crochet two single crochets in one and the same chain. Please don't uh, let the, the yarn here in because we're needing this side may as well. And the third one. And after that, we are crossing the road to the end in single crochets. And just we're going in the back of the chain again. So this is what we have to do this road and now we're closing with a slip stitch. The next road um, works the same as we have done the last road, just one single crochet in the back of the chain. I have finished now the road and now we're changing the colors. So we're taking the green yarn and before we close this road with a slip stitch, we just go with the first chain in the uh, with a hook in the first chain, sorry, take the green yarn and go one time through it and make one slip stitch. And now we have another yarn. So just make one loop and now we change the pattern again. Uh, what we are doing, we are crushing back point crochets, single crochets. I will show you how that works. Just take the hook, go 
behind and come out here go over on the single crochet you have made in the road before come out in the back take the yarn go over the single crochet you have made before and now crochet one single crochet I will show it again you see here is our single crochet we have wrote in the road before uh, in the road before we have crochet in the road before sorry now take the hook go behind here in this space come go over it and come out on the other side and the next space take the yarn over the chain and crochet one single crochet one time again here is our single crochet from the first row here is the right space and here is the left space we just go behind go out here go over the single crochet go in here again come out in the back take the yarn over the single crochet you have made in the row before and crochet one slip stitch so this is what we have to do uh, this road and in the next road we are just changing the color we're doing the same we're just crushing uh, back point single crochets as well in this color I show it you at my finished one you see here is the green line and after that we are crushing one road in back point single crochets again so if you have done it and I've done it I will show you the next part okay uh, so what we are doing doing in the next road is we are building uh, our little hole for the thumb for that we have here our marker and we're changing the color again we just take the turkey blue yarn or green and make one slip stitch in the first and close it with a slip stitch so now we're crushing uh, till here in back point single crochets as well. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine, I think is the right. So uh, just make sure it works with your thumb. For me, is it all right now? You see here, is it in the middle? And here is my thumb. So now, uh, we are crushing three loops. May you need four. Just make sure that it works. And I will go over the next five one. You can make a, to to get the right size. Just you can put it on your hands and take the loop here. And may you need another loop uh, if you got a not a small hand as me as I have and uh, just count the change here between and go then there that you have enough um, place for your thumb. So I have made the three loops and now I just go over the next five. One, two, three, four, five and make one back point double crochet in the end. For that I go in the back, over it, come out here and now I take the yarn go over and crochet one single crochet and the rest of the road sorry we are crushing back point single crochets as well and if you have done it and I have done it I show you how we can go on in the next road we are changing the color again we just take uh, the colored yarn and close with one slip stitch and um, now we are crushing till we have made the loops in back point single crochets as well oh i have forget to make one loop in the beginning so i make it now and crochet back point single crochets
tear we reached the loop from the road before. So this is our last one and now we are decreased the change we have made here. Uh, for that just go with the hook in the chain, make one loop that you have two here on your hook and now go in the next chain I have to search for and make one loop and now take the yarn and go through all three loops on the hook and the next works as well just go in the next chain in the next chain again so that we decrease two chains in the end go through all three and um, now we have decreased to change and um, what we do ne next is we just uh, crochet back points single crochets as well till we finish the road. So you can see now we have built uh, our hole for the farm. And you can uh, make sure that this pattern is in the middle of your arm, and here is the thumb, so that we're getting that we can go on. Make sure that it here get the right size. May you need one more or one less uh, chain, then you can decrease as well. We're changing the color again. Just take the green yarn and uh, make one slip stitch and one loop. And now we are crushing in back points, single crochets uh, till the bridge where we have built the thumb with. And there we decrease one chain. So. Here is my sign and now we're decreasing the next two chains. That's very easy as well. And then the next chain. So just go with a hook behind. Come out here. Go over the first single crochet you have made in the road before and go over the second single crochet you have made before. For take the yarn over the two chains and sing a uh, crochet one single crochet. And um the rest is like we have done in the roads before. Just go on the road to crochet uh, back point single crochets. We're changing the color again. Just make one slip stitch and now one loop. And in this road, we are crushing. Oh, sorry, I have to take here the green one with me. So now it works. Uh, in back point, single crochets as well. So I've uh, finished the road, and now um, what we're doing next is very easy as well. We're just uh, crushing in Bosnia crochets again, Bosnian crochets as well. We're just closing the road with a slip stitch. And we're making one loop, and now we're crushing loose uh, like we have done it in the beginning here. Um, and there, for that, we're going in the back of a chain, take the back of a chain, make one loop, and make one slip stitch. So don't forget to crochet loose, and it's just your decision. Um, uh, how many roads you like to uh, crochet now? So I will show it here. You see, I want it a little bit more over here. I will crochet two lines, uh, I think, in, in Bosnia crochet. So you can see it here now. The you see, I got the right. I think I've made two May free. It's just your decision. Um, this is here long that I really get warm hands and not 
uh, called fingers um, and if you have done it and I have done it I will show you how the little flower works and we just make one end here as well we are now nearly close to the end the only thing we have to do is just uh, to make this little flower and to make a line here after I've crochet the last line in um, back pointing a crochet I have crocheted three lines in Bosnian crochet and then I finished so uh, I like to show you how the end works and how this little rose works or this little flower uh, I just turn go on the back and now I make like I've done it here 20 uh, 80 to 20 loops in single crochets as I say uh, sorry I crochet single crochet make one loop and take the yarn and now go in here as well and crochet single crochets so three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventeen. 18 and 19 so now I close with a slip stitch and I crochet the last row in Bosnian crochet as well for that just make one loop on the beginning and go in the back of the chain and crochet there slip stitch and if you have done it um, yes you're finished with one and what we are needing is uh, this little flower here and I like to show you how it works for that we need a needle number five and we start with a green yarn make one loop and now crochet two loops and in the first loop you have made in the beginning just crochet five single crochets one two three four and the fifth just close with a slip stitch for that go on the first loop you have made in the beginning and now double every chain that you have got 10th in the end so just go in the first chain and crochet there two single crochets one two and the next two again three four and then the next also two again five six seven eight nine and the tenth now close with a slip stitch for that go on the first loop you have made in the beginning go one frame through the loop and cut the yarn uh, you can take it long because you can use it to stitch it up and for this inside just take the turkey yarn and make one loop crochet 
two chain two loops and now go in the first chain you've made in the beginning and there crochet three single crochets two and the third one after that just close this ring with a slip stitch just go in the first stitch you have made in the beginning and cut the yarn go one time sorry I was too fast so go in the first chain you have made in the beginning we make one slip stitch take the yarn another time make a loop now cut the yarn you can uh, use it to stitch it up as well and now stitch it up inside that you get this rose uh, yeah, for sure you have to stitch up oh, sorry that was <laughs> the hook for sure you have to stitch and uh, up all the yarns and um, to put the little flower here behind the thumb on this side and um, I think um, you can do the rest by your own. I have one finished at all. You have to do the second one as well. I wishing you a lot of fun by making it by yourself. These are really warm arm rippers. And for sure, if you like this video, I would be very happy if you like to give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. And hope you get at all good through the cold days and hope to see you soon again. And